Ash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Stella. How are you? Good morning, Boo. So with all of the snow yesterday and the integration proceedings, I forgot to defrost the raw food for the cat. So this morning they're getting tuna. I just looked outside and it's six degrees out. Oh my gosh, that's cold. This is Boo's food. He is getting the Trader Joe's tuna for cats with his herbs and some water. It is 11 a.m. I am giving Hydrox some fresh water and a whole big can of food. This is the Nature's Variety Instinct Champs Chicken Formula. This is what his shelter is looking like today. And if we look at the snow, we could see some cat tracks heading in the shelter direction. And that's what it looks like under the house in the shelter area. I'm leaving the snow on top of the sunroom because I... I'm hoping it works kind of like a um, like an igloo where it traps heat inside of it which could be good. Now they say the snow is not going to melt or go anywhere for quite some time because it's not going to get above freezing I think until sometime next week if we're lucky but right now I'm pretty happy that you can see um, like the concrete patio in a lot of areas because it makes it potentially a lot less slippery. And thankfully this is all really dry, powdery snow. So that also makes everything less slippery because it's not like it's sheets of ice or anything. I think it's like 7.30 p.m. And according to this thermometer, it is six degrees out. Okay, maybe seven degrees out. It is cold. I just gave Hydrox a full can of the Nature's Variety Instinct Pride Champs Chicken Formula. Gave him some fresh water and there he is. He came running out of his house and he's gonna eat his food and hopefully he'll go back into that nice warm shelter because it is really, really cold out here. And um, I know some people have mentioned maybe putting some rugs under there to keep his feet warm, but the rugs are not gonna keep his feet warm because the rugs are gonna end up being just as cold as everything else out here. And um, what might happen is if they get wet, I mean, they're gonna freeze if they get wet, but um, there's nothing worse than being cold and wet. I'd rather him be cold and dry. Um, you can get really dangerous conditions when you're cold and wet. So right now this is the best setup for him. Um, again, he has the shelter with the heated pet pad in it, with insulation, with comfy fleece blankets, and it is well protected. Right there you can see all the cat prints in and out and then um, that sunroom is covered like an igloo and then this front area now has like a plastic flap on it to try to keep some of the cold air out but when the wind blows that flap does move it's better than it was and uh, it's, it's pretty good because it is a vestibule that does not go straight into the shelter it goes into like a vestibule area and the reason why uh, these shelters have two entrances is because these cats won't go into a shelter that only has one entrance. They always need like an escape route if a predator should come in. The cat wants to get out the other side. So that's why they have two entrances. Okay, I just came inside and there's Hydrox. He's eating his food. And then I just wanted to mention one other concern that people had, and that is the distance of the food to the shelter. Um, some people think it might be better to put the food right near his shelter. And I just want to explain that it's never a good idea to put the food too close to the shelter because the food can attract predators, uh, which can go after the cat. Uh, the food can also attract other animals. If you watch some of the videos from several months ago, you could see that there are raccoons and skunks and possums um, that walk through the yard at night who also look for food. So um, you don't want those near the cat shelter because they can go in and disturb the cat and you just want to try to keep that um, a good distance away. So right now, I don't know, these are maybe 10, 12, 14 feet away. Um, it would be nice if they're a little bit farther away, but I feel like that this would be like a good minimum distance for the food to be away from the shelter. So Splash is hiding under the bed for some reason. I don't know why. 
But instead of going down to eat with the other cats, he just wanted to stay near Boo's door. And um, the other cats, I gave him food downstairs, like Simba and Stella. But I have to leave the door open because Splash is up here. So I'm trying to lure him downstairs. So I go under the bed with this laser pointer thinking, oh, I'll lure Splash out. Instead, what it did was lure Simba under the bed. So then I was able to lure Simba out with the laser pointer. But now Simba's playing with it. Boo was playing with it. I don't know what happened to him. He went, oh, there he goes. He went under the love seat. Well, I keep calling it a love seat, but it's a day bed. And Splash is still under the bed. And considering the fact that I just got home after a long day, I really just want to spend a little bit of time relaxing before trying to, uh, you know, integrate these cats and having to deal with everything that entails. Because it's not like I can just, you know, open the gates and let them do what they want because Boo has been jumping on them. And because of that, I feel like I need to just watch what's going on because I don't need to make any emergency trips to a vet or animal hospital when it's four degrees out and there's more than eight inches of snow. It is about 11 p.m. And I can't find Boo's favorite feather toy, like the feather toy on the string. And um, I found this one instead. And he has been going crazy over it. Tonight, um, Stella, Splash, and Simba have free roam. Boo had free roam last night. And um, I'm trying to just work off some of his energy before he goes in his room. And he's been having a really good time with his toy. He's jumping around like a madman. I'm hoping to put away a lot of the Christmas stuff over the next day or two, which will give Boo more room to play. I have a bunch of stuff here, boxes and stuff that still needs to be put away. I just went to see the downstairs cats and they must have heard Boo jumping around and playing upstairs so they're all kind of ready to come up and see what's going on. Hello Simba. Hello Splash.
So I don't know what you can see, but Pooh is on the other side of the gate and Simba's like right here. They're practically nose to nose. And there's this laser pointer in between them. That splash is right there. Okay, guys, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I'll see everybody tomorrow.